Developing new habits and routines is very, very tricky. Habits are the little things that we do every single day. Like, for instance, what you eat at lunch, whether or not you go to the gym every single day, like I do, whether or not you read a book, or maybe look at Instagram in the last few minutes before you go to bed. They make up a considerable number of decisions and also actions we make every single day. When was the last time that you bought a different shaving cream or maybe cooked a totally new meal? Watch this video to the end so I can teach you how to develop new habits. Welcome back to our 30 days of motivation video series. In this series of videos, I am going to give you some tips and tricks in order to refocus your mindset in only 30 days. My name is Patrick Gambi and welcome back to our workout and feel good channel. If you are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos at all when they are posted. I cannot change the whole world, but if I can change one person's world, I will be the happiest person in this world. Let us continue our program with our day 8 video. And in this day 8 video, we are going to learn how to develop positive habits. Since habits make up many of our day-to-day -day decisions and also actions, they have a significant impact on our health and also our happiness. If your learned habit is to get a salad and then meditate for 10 minutes, you are likely to be a lot healthier than someone who has a cheeseburger and then chase it up with a cigarette. Habits have a lot of momentum, so changing them can be extremely hard. If you have ever failed at a New Year resolution, you will definitely know what I mean. But this doesn't mean that Dropping bad habits and also developing good ones can't be done. So let us start right now by developing positive habits. Work out what you really want to do and just decide to do something. Like for instance, going to the gym every day or maybe meditate, whatever you want to develop as a good habit just start by doing it from the first week just do it but also ask yourself what might happen in the near future what will happen for instance in your second week when your motivation will start dropping off i'm guessing that your commitment to your new routine will also drop off if this is the case don't worry at all, don't worry, as this really happens to everyone else and not only you. The problem is that your initial flash of motivation only gets you this far and you will have to stay focused on your journey of developing positive habits. So to develop more sustained motivations, you need a clearer idea of what you are trying to achieve and why and why you are trying to achieve it and when it comes to setting goals there's one important thing you'd always need to remember your goals should be defined like the word smart smart s m a r t okay here is the definition of the word SMART, S-M-A-R-T. The letter S, like specific. You need a specific, clear idea and not a vague one. Things like, um, I like to lose 
four kilograms rather than just losing weight, for instance. And the letter M, like measurable, for instance. You need to be able to measure and to track your progress. If you lose 10 grams, you have technically met your goal to lose weight, but not a specific one of losing kilos, okay? The letter A, for instance, like achievable. Your goals need to be something you can actually do. There is no point of setting a goal of running a marathon in less than three hours if you are not even able to run five kilometers non-stop. It doesn't work, okay? The letter R, like relevant to your brother aims. If you want to be healthy, setting a goal without a motivation is simply not a good idea. And finally, the letter T, like time limited. All your goals should have a defined time, like for instance, uh, before the summer holiday or within the next eight weeks and, and so on and so on. Go through your broad of vague goals and try to turn them into smart goals, okay? You can then start developing new habits that really, really support them, okay, with realistic achievable and also define goals. You need to define all these goals to be realistic and also achievable. By doing this, you will be much likely to stay motivated and also for a very, very long program. I always advise my clients to start with really small goals. The big mistake people make with personal development or changing routine is going through bigger steps that they want to change at once. It doesn't work like that. It is hard to start a new exercise or routines or to change your way of habit if you don't have any, any program behind, okay? It is extremely hard to do it this way. So don't ever try to change everything all in one go. It will not work. Try to start small and work to develop your habits every single day and you will just become better and better and better. Try to work into them with routine. For example, if you want to learn to meditate, make it a routine to meditate, okay? As soon as you wake up, for instance, in the morning, just try to meditate before your coffee or just define certain points of the day, through the day, when you want to meditate. Similarly, don't try to meditate for hours if you haven't even meditated for 10 minutes. Start with 10 minutes for instance and build it up every single day. You are much likely to stick to every habit that you want to achieve. And also remember that habit will only stay if you do it every single day. I hope this video number 8 has been informative for you. If this is the case, eh? Just comment below, like it and share it with others. And don't forget to stay tuned for our video number nine. Believe in yourself. Remember that you can be your own best friend or your own worst enemy. Believing in yourself is one of the greatest things that you could do for yourself and no one else will ever ever do it for you okay so you have to believe in yourself if you want to achieve any goals in this world because no one will do it for you start by accomplishing your goals today by setting clearer and also positive goals for yourself this is the end of our video number eight i look forward to seeing you on our next video Take care for now, my dear friends, and see you very soon online. Did you enjoy this video? I really hope that this is the case. If so, kindly subscribe, comment below, like it, and also share it with others. And don't forget to spread the love in this world. This is a copyright of work hard and feel good. Learning, coaching, motivation. See you very soon online. Bye bye.